All right, guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back in for another Farming Simulator 25 wish list. Actually, this is going to be the Farming Simulator 25 community wish list. This is all what you guys came up with in our previous video on this. In fact, if you have not seen the original video that we did where we went through all of the features in Farming Simulator 24, all the ideas we had about Farming Simulator 25 are ideas we wanted to see brought into, well, whatever the next Farming Simulator game is. We talked about it all, ranked them all, what we'd like to see, at least what I would like to see. Go check the video out. It's going to be up in the top left-hand corner up here. Go click on the card and uh, go check that video out. But today, we took all the comments from that video and it, we brought up a lot of ideas that, you know what, we already came up with, of course, and things that were more, more, well, the things you guys thought of that I got nailed, I guess, things that we really, really wanted to see, and also things that I missed. There was a few things that I definitely missed on that video that we want to put into the list and talk about for sure, because you caught me off guard with a couple of them, so we should definitely discuss this a little bit further. Like I said, you never know if someone from Giants may watch this video and be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's see if we can get that in game. So, you know what, drop a comment down below for features you guys want to see brought in. Uh, you never know, it could be something that you never, you, you might see in the next game. And uh, the more feedback they get, I'm sure the better off, better off it is. Now, of course, this comes to um, the most important question. When the heck is Farming Simulator 25 coming out? And yeah, you could say this is a clickbait video to some degree because we don't know. We really do not know. However, at the launch of Farming Simulator 25, the or 20, sorry, the launch of Farming Simulator 22, the actual trailer was released. I believe it was March of of 21, March of 2021. Farming so it's it's we're right in the wheelhouse right now. We, we this video is in March of what 2024. I would expect to see a trailer within the month if there is a Farming Simulator 25. Once again, no one knows for sure. If you hear anyone say that they have, they don't know. They'd be under NDA if they did. And as much as I would love to tell you guys, yeah, there's definitely going to be one coming out. I do not know that. I am under assumptions. And I mean, I'm looking at, well, past history, of course. And I mean, you look at what's going on in the Mod Hub right now. And there's not a lot of new stuff getting pushed. It seems like the development crew or the testing crew has... um and spread out there's a ver i've heard some various different reasons on that but um i'm just saying that's a possibility that maybe there's more stuff going on in the new development plan that we don't know about right also stuff on the steam database as well kind of interesting regardless of which i don't think that'd be anything to, to look at for this so i'm just putting my tinfoil hat on and, and talking about farm sim 25 which is what i'm assuming the next game is going to be called so if you like this type of video, guys, if you like the stuff we do here, you haven't noticed our channel before, make sure you guys go down to the bottom, hit the like button and subscribe. You know, you get the new animation. I've been telling everybody this because I didn't know about this until like last week. You get a little animation now when you slap the like or if you subscribe, you get like a cool little animation. Go click on those and um, let me know in the comments not only what your thoughts are of possibly like new features that I might have missed or let me know what you think of these weekend videos we've been doing where we tier and rank this kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do different ranks. I don't know. We'll come up with something. Let me know if you guys like this. If you think it's kind of kind of hokey, kind of dumb, that's okay too. Uh, let me know down in the comments. You know what? It all drives engagement. Maybe put a smiley face down there, if nothing else. That'd be kind of fun. Anyways, let's dive into this list and see exactly what you guys thought. Um, and if you haven't seen the previous video, let me bring this up. We have five different levels. The top is the things that want, we want to see the most. At least, let's be honest. Okay, the way I'm going to be ranking this is your comments, what I want to see. Because I can't really ask you right now, can I? So I'm going to rank them as far as things that I personally would think would be the highest on my list. Got must have. Uh, the really wants are things that, man, I would really love to see it. It's not going to, I'm not going to be completely disappointed if it doesn't happen, but it's things I would love to see Giants work towards getting that feature put in game. The would be nice are things that maybe, um, yeah, you put them in game. I'm okay with that being in game. Don't spend too much time worrying about it. But if you can get it in there, hey, it's like a, the the cherry on your Sunday, basically. I don't know why I said that. Um, and the yellow one is take it or leave it. So things I don't care too, too much about. Things I would maybe use once and forget about. Maybe not use it anymore. It's, it's in the game. I'm fine with it being there. Indifferent. And then the very bottom is stuff that I don't care about. Um, I don't think Giants should waste time on. That makes sense? hope that makes sense let's dive in 
Let's dive in. I actually put myself over there. Let's go with that. Perfect. Uh, don't forget, of course. Don't forget, of course. Uh, video is brought to you by G Portal Game Service. You know what? We're sitting here talking about what we're going to be doing in Farming Simulator 25, but you can be playing Farming Simulator 22 right now with all your friends on a G Portal game server. It'll let you play with console PC players, play together, 25 gigs of mod space. You're getting the absolute fastest mod servers you can get out there currently. And it's just super simple to set up. You can get going in five minutes. Go over to G Portal website, click in the link in the description. It's going to get you 10% off on a server. It's the server I used for all of all my servers. That's the company I use literally have i think four or five servers right now we use all our multiplayer stuff on it if you check out one of our live streams uh we're pretty much always on a g portal game server when we're doing any multiplayer that's how we do it even if it's like a one-off time we just jump in quickly set up the server dive in and then we're good to go the nice thing is guys and it works so well with farming simulator because you know you have you can have multiple different farms on a map one person jumps in. Oh, you know what? I don't have time to stay stay anymore. I got to get out of here. Well, just as somebody else is jumping in, it doesn't matter. There doesn't have to be a host. The server is the host, which is awesome for Farming Simulator because you can come and go. Everyone can get their work done in their own time. Anyways, that's enough about G Portal series. Go check them out. Link down in the description. Get your 10% off. Let's dive into my, my list. Um, G Portal is at the top of my list, to be perfectly honest, in your must-have. Just go, go get, a, get a server. If you play multiplayer at all, you really want one telling you right now uh let's go right off the bat guys this is something we talked about just in uh oh, well, we were on on the g portal server to be perfectly honest crop dusters this is hilarious I, I just had to slap this in here um this was not i don't believe this was on a comment this was just something uh, somebody was talking about Did somebody comment on this i can't remember anyways we were talking about this in uh in the video or in the live stream and i'm not gonna lie i would love to see this especially in multiplayer, some of the shenanigans that you could get into with crop dusters, helicopters, uh, anything like that. Do I see this happening? No, I do not see this happening. Uh, the other problem is, even on a 4X map, I find that crop dusters are a little bit, they're too quick, like it, things happen so fast and it doesn't really make sense. I mean, you can fertilize and spray a field pretty quickly, even with like ground-based equipment. To come through with a crop tester helicopter, it doesn't make a lot of sense for the field sizes typically. <clears throat> so, would I like to see this? Yeah, heck yeah, I would love to see this. Just don't spend a bunch of time on it because realistically, you've got to consider a couple of things, right? The size of the fields you're going to be spraying, pretty minimal, number one. Now, if we're talking crop duster specifically, you need a spot you got to dedicate for taking off and landing for a runway. That's kind of a large, large area of land, right? Now, helicopters, yeah, you can get little like the the trailers for for landing and taking off and whatever. I'm just saying, there's there's some things we have to consider with this. It would be nice. Don't spend a ton of time on this. Let's be honest. Next up, GPS, guys. You guys know where I'm putting this, right? If you guys watched the last video, the GPS is where it's at. This is it boggles my mind that this is not in Farming Simulator already. And like I said, as we're going through this, guys, these are all base game features. I'm not talking Mod Hub at all, right? I'm talking stuff that should be in in Farming Simulator right from the get-go. GPS should be a baseline feature from the start. I'm not sure how to, what they would what what implementation we're talking about. Like, would it be available in older equipment? I mean, do it like transmissions, right? It's a selectable option. You pay for it in each individual piece of equipment you buy potentially, or the equipment that would have it has it. Right, so the older, older school John Deere, uh, old iron tractor wouldn't necessarily have. Maybe you could buy, I don't know, maybe you could buy a third party one and stick in there. But the new ones, it should be either included or it should be an option in the price, hands down. Anyways, GPS, yes, find a way to get a GPS or at least a heading lock of some sort, please, please. Um, equipment lease to own. This is interesting because this is a mod that's currently out there in farm sim right now for farm sim 22 you can get a lease to own mod i'm getting this in base game right and so instead of our leasing system being like yeah you go lease this equipment for a harvest and then you return it and you you pay for the initial lease of it right you pay a rental charge to take it off the lot and then you pay per hour of use kind of thing and then each day they use it you pay it extra it's kind of like a kind of a convoluted payment system to be honest I would like the idea of, of the lease to own. Yeah, you can you start leasing this piece of equipment every day. You're getting dinged X amount of dollars to have it. You can return it. You can return it. 
or you know what else you can do you can just keep on paying that but you can watch the payments decrease and you know within two years two years you've paid for that piece of equipment instead and you're paying you know forty thousand dollars a month or something like that i don't know something ridiculous i'd have to figure it out but anyways just saying a, a lease to own would be pretty cool um i'm just gonna put it as would be nice it'd be nice to have do i need to have that not necessarily but it's, it would be nice let's move into new crops now this is something i'm going to go on the assumption that the next farming simulator game farms i'm assuming farms in 25 once again tinfoil hat time new crops we're gonna have once again we always get new crops it seems like so this feels like it's a no-brainer to me i feel like we're we're bound to get new crops right i mean i've heard peas carrots uh or not carrots sorry uh, pe uh peanuts uh what else about clover of course um we got alfalfa you got rye the interesting thing when you think talk new crops though guys is you're most likely going to be also talking about new equipment right like a lot of these a lot of these specialized crops require a very specific type of equipment I mean, we got grapes and olives last time. And once again, you get a very specific piece of equipment that can only harvest that. And while that's okay, um, a lot of the times I find that it makes it so you do it once and you never touch that crop again. So there is a fine line there. And I hope that we they find a way to, I, I, I can't think of any crops. Maybe rye would be a good one, right? Another grain crop, because then you can use your standard harvester, um, maybe a different header for like peas. I don't know. That's something you'd have to consider. Um, I still want to see new crops brought in just to change things up a little bit. I think I ranked this a little lower last time, but I think we'll get some some different equipment. If you're thinking new crops, you're probably going to get some different equipment to go along with it. Uh, speaking of different crops, the so flower bulbs, this was brought in by Faber Farming. I think it was Faber Farming was talking about this in the comments. And uh, he's European, so I understand his point of view for sure on this. I personally have no, I never even thought about this, to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever seen or looked up any videos of people harvesting flowers before. Of course, you see all like the tulip, uh, the tulip farms over, over in Europe. And it is kind of fascinating. It is a little bit interesting for sure. However, do I really want to do any flower bulb harvesting? That doesn't seem like, that doesn't seem interesting enough to me to do it, actually do it in game. I don't know if I want to go down that road. That's not my style of farm, but... Don't judge, like, that's just me. I don't judge if you want to do that by all means. Do I really care, though, for it? Not, not really, you guys. I'll put, I'm going to take it down, take it or leave it. Once again, it's a new type of crop. Uh, I'm assuming you need a different type of like, way of harvesting it. I'm assuming it's just not a regular John Deere 9, 9 R, <laughs> uh, X9 harvesting it. So, yeah, you get some kind of different equipment. And, yeah, you know what? For those that really want it, by all means, have at her. Do I... Do I think I'll do it? I'll probably do it once and probably never again. Oh yeah, why not? Flowers? Sure. Can I see actually I can actually kind of see the potential for this coming down the pipe for for giants, right? Like we've got these production chains now that are pretty much base game. Um, which we're talking about next, it looks like. But flowers could definitely lead up that, right? We could go down that road a little bit more with flower bulbs. Good for thought. So let's speak of, speaking of production, more more and better productions. Um, I'm I'm going to go on a limb here and say that if yeah we're gonna see more productions pretty pretty much guaranteed. I kind of like I know that a lot of people it seemed like the some of the productions were a little hit or miss. Um, I think there's a lot of people that feel my sentiments as well that productions don't really feel right in farm sim. Like it's it's if you're a farmer you don't own an oil mill right you don't <laughs> it's not what you do you don't own an oil mill you don't own a flour mill. You take your crops to those places, potentially. Chances are you're just going to a co-op and they're dealing with it from there. But you don't own the actual production after that point. So it always felt weird to me. Um, it takes, a, it becomes less about farming to me in a way, to be honest. But whatever, I digress. I, I did enjoy the progression of some of the product, especially the DLC uh, productions from like the roller coaster, the piano, whatever it might be. It was kind of interesting. It was it was a fun little mini game to build those things up. So I can appreciate that side of it where it's like, eh, it's something different. If it, it really allows me to focus my time on it a little bit. And I want to do that at least once just to see what it's like. So I, I just think we're going to get more productions that may be similar to that because I think that went over fairly well. I know people complain about it. They're like, no farmer wants to build a roller coaster. That's dumb. I get you. Fair enough. But at the same time, I think that brought people in. Um, 
I know this specific request for more better productions was around like a butcher shop or something along those lines or like more cattle, um, hog related. And I know at least my understanding was from speaking with certain individuals that we're not going to see that basically because that could potentially make them lose the E for everyone rating of Farming Simulator. Of course, they want this to be a very family focused game. So that's something you probably will not see. Um, and that, like that goes same with like wine production from the grapes. So that's um, something that has to be done outside of base game, unfortunately. Even I don't think in the mod, in the mod hub, can we have that kind of stuff in the mod hub? I think even the mod hub that gets limited, to be honest with you. Anyways, um, just food for thought. More better productions. Uh, once again, I'm putting this down and take it or leave it. I'm going a little bit slow here. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Branded trucks. I don't even need to talk about this, right? We're up at the, near the top now. Quickly, once again, yeah, sure. I'd love to see Ford Chevy Dodge pickup trucks brought in game. Do I think we'll see it? Probably not. If I was to bet there might be one brand, if I was to bet there was going to be one brand, I would say Ford trucks. If you're placing bet, if you're placing your money down and they you were told there's only going to be one brand, I think it would be Ford just based on some of the other mods that they've pushed through in the last couple of years, all kind of Ford, Ford branded or not even Ford branded, but Ford lookalikes from like the Mustang, I think. Uh, there was something else. Oh, the van. Anyways, just saying, maybe there's a lot of stuff goes goes on behind the scenes, of course, to try to get these brands in game that I don't know if where we're at. It, it seems like that's a pretty big negotiation. Don't think we'll see it in the next game. However, if we do, if there's only one brand, it would be Ford. And uh, that's my, at least my opinion. But I, I really want to see this. So that'd be nice to have for everyone. So I could quit here in the comments. Where do you get that truck? Is it the mod hub? And yeah, no, it's not. It's it's PC only. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Uh, custom pastures. Let's talk about custom pastures. I like this idea. So this one was something I, I never even, I didn't talk about it. I don't, I don't think it was in the last video. I didn't even think about it, to be honest. But being able to take your fence lines, draw out a square, basically, or a, an odd shaped pasture in a field, and then mark down saying, yeah, that is my cattle or my hog pasture. Yeah, that's cool. That is fantastic. That's a great idea. Please let us do that. I really want that, you guys. I'm leaving that right where it is. It doesn't have to happen, but I think that's a great way to be able to assign your pastures, right? No more, yeah, it's got to be this square box you only put right here, and it misses, messes the terrain all up and makes it look all jagged and ugly. No, put your fences up and then say inside that fence right there, that's where your cattle pasture is. That'd be perfect. Please do that. That'd be great. That's a great idea. Um, it goes up to the next one, actually, modular pastures. And now this one was kind of in the same vein as custom pastures, only a little bit different. So you put down your, your pasture, whether it's a square box, whatever it might be, but then you can just quickly click on that and add different modules. So for instance, yeah, your modules could be something like, yeah, this is, I'm adding a water trough to this or an, um, a self-filling water trough, say. And that's a $5,000 charge. It gets added into that posture. Or maybe I get to pick where it goes. I don't know, something like that. Um, I want a milking station now on this pasture. Boom. Same thing. It's slapped into that pasture somewhere. It's like the, each pasture you can upgrade almost, like an upgrade path in each pasture, depending on how you want to use it. You don't need to have it. But if you do, your base pasture is fairly cheap. Or you can kind of build it up in little progressive stances. I, I mean, that's one way of doing it. I kind of almost would rather have like, yeah, you build your pasture, but then you go in the menu to over to, I don't know, animal, <clears throat> animal tools. And then there's the list of like, yeah, the, here's your troughs. Here's your, your milk tanks. Um, here's your manure pits. And you can kind of quick and drag and put those in as you want. Each one costs a certain amount of money. And then the pasture, and it's kind of the similar idea, but it's not just the modular pasture per se. Um, you would just go to a different menu, basically. So the pasture wouldn't necessarily be modular, but the, the items could be added into each pasture. Does that make sense? Um, I'm going to put this down. It would be nice. It's not something... Because I think we kind of almost have what I just described to some degree. I think there just needs to be a little bit more specific, right? Yeah, because we could add like the... We add that without mods? I'm trying to think now. I don't think... Maybe it's, maybe it's not really in-game right now. You're right. With mods, we can kind of do what I just described. So anyways... Let's put it down to would be nice. I'd like to see that. Time to lay buildings. This was an interesting one as well. This one caught me off guard, you guys. I was actually really, I, I sat for a bit and thought about this. So you place down your, say you're building a new shed or a barn. You slap it down. Well, guess what? It would take 
two months, say, to build that shed. You have to wait two in-game months for that shed to be built or that barn to be built. And it's like you place it down, nothing happens right away. You're like, oh, okay. You go and do some work for an hour or two in a field, you come back, all of a sudden, um, the next time you come back, there is a concrete, concrete forms down. The the the, the floor is the floor has been poured. Okay, that's kind of cool. You know, you sleep a day, all of a sudden it's framed. A couple hours later, you got some windows in, like it slowly gets built up, and then you know, at the end of the two months it's all done and you can get into it. Kind of cool. I really like that idea. Now, do I see something like that happening? No. I really don't see anything like that happening. I would love to see that progression. Um, I just don't feel like Giants is, go, is going in that way. I just don't think that's that's going to be a... I feel like the time to develop that kind of a system as well with all these different buildings would be pretty difficult. That's all I think. I'd like to see it, though. Also, when we're talking about this, there's going to be the accessible versus realism scale we have to think about as well. If you haven't heard me talk about this, right? We've got to have accessibility is is fairly high. Farming simulator is somewhat complicated for a lot of new players to begin with. So when you're starting to add more complexity in, there has to be something in there that makes it accessible still for those players, right? And I, I know uh, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching right now are, are seasoned vets with several thousand hours in potentially. And we all want it to be, we want to push that envelope a little bit further at times. And this is something that we're, we're all looking at, I, that I look at at least and be like, you know what, I'd love to have that, make it a little bit more realistic, simulate simulation. And um, I just, I, I don't think we're going to be going that direction though. So anyways, there you go. Let's keep on moving. Tire options. Tire options. Now, this was listed in a different way as well. So, tire options. We were, there was some brand tire options, of course. Uh, someone was actually mentioning the way I want to that I'm going to be talking about this as far as tire options. Tire options having an effect on how your vehicle behaves. Now, of course, we have narrow wheels, which are used in certain crops, right? But we want the tire options to to come into effect with different types of terrain. Oh, you've got um, a really heavy or a really, yeah, a really heavy, really large plow. You better put the duels on. You better put dual tires on there. Otherwise, you're you're going to sink into your, your field. You're going to wreck your field or whatever. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Um, where right now, like right now, the tire options seem you put to go from normal tires. You put the the wide tires on. You've got the weights in the tires. Even you've got like they don't have any effect for the most part in game. And I would love to see tire options actually have an effect on everything. Now, this goes into a whole other discussion about weather effects, mud, um, that kind of stuff, right? Traction, things that will affect the traction of, of equipment. And I mean, if we're really going to get down to brass tacks, I do want to see all those features brought into farming simulators. So tire options and tire, tire compounds having an effect on that part of farming simulator does rank fairly high on what I want to see. The funny thing is, though, like the tire options, if we're talking about all the stuff that goes above that, that has to, to play into effect for your tires, that all ranks above for me. But I still really want to see a little bit more strategy brought into what tires you put on each piece of equipment. We'll leave it right there. Um, all right. We already talked about crop dusters, right? But this is this actually says uh, irrigation systems pivots, pivots and irrigation systems. This is another interesting. There's there are mods out for the last two games. I think 19 and 22 now both have have pivots. So like the large sprinkler systems that are used, and um, irrigation systems as well. Right, having various different types, the rollers that go through your fields. This is a, like it's such an interesting idea. So this could replace potentially like right now it replaces fertilizing, is how it's built, and I mean it's not necessarily incorrect I guess in a way. Um, especially for like hay fields, right? Like a lot of hay, a lot of hay fields, they'll put those down, um, and then they don't need to worry about fertilizing. Essentially, I, I think it's an interesting concept. There's a lot of people that want to use this. You need to have big maps with these, though, right? Especially like the big circular ones. I feel like for it to be worthwhile, I guess there's a lot of small farms that have the small roll through ones as well. It is an interesting concept. Uh, I would like to see it brought in for sure. Um, I think there's some there's some challenges on how it would work. Right? Is it just water that goes into it, I guess, once again? 
Like there's no other irrigation systems or pivots that pump fertilizer through them, right? So it would just be water going in. And it might break other systems in game if it's water, if you can just spray water in there. I guess the other ones don't. Anyways, I'm just saying, I, I'm curious to how it would be implemented. And the, it would take a certain type of map always for these to work properly. I'm just, it, I could see it being somewhat game breaking at times, but it, I'm gonna leave it right where it is. Would be nice. I would use them. A lot of my fields, I think we could really build some cool, build some cool farms with uh, pivots and some different irrigation systems for sure. Um, and proof sounds. There was a couple comments on this. And to be honest, guys, the sound improvements in 22 over 19 was, was pretty drastic to me. Uh, I think they did a really good job with improving the sounds in game from the, from the equipment going into like going into sheds. You get like an echoing feel now. They did a really good job on sounds. There's some things this and, and like I'm talking base game equipment here once again, right? I think Giants did a fantastic job with base game equipment. Now there's going to be some mods out there that are less than perfect for sure, but base game, I'm pretty happy with sounds where they are right now. Uh, I don't think we need in anything crazy i don't want them wasting a bunch of time on on improving the sounds right now that's let's move into other aspects for me I'll, I'll if they do it by all means that's fine however i don't need anything more than what we have right now um and that comes into vr support too there's only a couple comments on vr support i'm not a vr support user i know somebody was saying it's like you go to vr once you'll never go back that's not usually how the saying goes uh but VR support for me is is take it or leave it. By all means, have at or who knows, I might go try VR. If if VR was supported in Farming Simulator, if this was supported, then um, that might convince me to you know make the VR plunge and and pick up something to test it out with and, and see what it's all about. All right, so I'm gonna put it down, take it or leave it. Once again, let me know. Are you guys big into VR? I don't know too many people that are yet, but you know we're talking about VR, and I said this as well. I think in cab monitors, like if we're going to do, if we're talking about doing VR in game, if there's going to be in game VR in cab monitors and in cab, like all the button system and everything in game, they all have to work. Everything in cab has to work properly. And that brings up a whole other slew of issues, of course, for various mods. Let's be honest there. But the in game stuff has to work properly. Like you got to sit down in your 7R, your John Deere 7R, that GPS screen. Um, that equipment screen, your your implement screen, that all has to be showing real live da data. Get rid of the menus. If you're doing VR, do VR, right? You are in the cab, you are looking around. All the all the all the digital displays, all the buttons that are there, they are real life. That's how you run it. That has to be how it is. Otherwise, don't do VR. And you know what? This could be in game no matter what. Anyways, I, I would put this as would be nice regardless. I would like to see this. Is it a, is it, does it, do I really, really want it? It's not something I want them to focus all that. I, that's not where I want their attention to be completely on by any means, right? Um, but I still think that'd be cool to have anyways, even without VR, to have everything in game working and having those screens work properly. Like having that G, if you had a GPS screen and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, by all means, let's get that working. And then let's put in VR. Let's go with that. Um, let's move into animals chat. Let's move into animals, you guys. We've got more animals, and I'm I'm at a I'm I'm a little bit at a loss for this one. Like we could talk goats. I've heard rabbits. I'm trying to think what else. Did I heard I heard turkeys. People want to have in goats would be the one I could see the most. To be perfectly honest, um, I'm pretty happy with what we have for for livestock right now. When I think of farming, you got cattle and hogs realistically and sheep i guess to some degree yeah you got there are some other ones i mean you can go with like llama um what are the other ones there's llama and the other one that are like the same thing regardless anyways could you do that sure do i really need it not really i'm happy with it i'm happy really with hogs and and cattle for me personally this is just for me i know there's gonna be some of you that want way more options out there but for me i'm indifferent i'm if you if they put more animals in sure I don't need it though. Don't don't waste a ton of time on that for me at least. Um, however, <laughs> the baby animals, baby and baby cows, baby baby hogs, and the piglets, um, even the baby chicks, whatever it might be. Yeah, I kind of want to see this more. I really want to see this as base game. I've talked a little bit more about this actually. I really want this, you guys. I, I want more progression. 
with the animals, uh, livestock to act more realistically. Like, right, there's, I think we have something else coming up with livestock, but um, the livestock progression in game, it feels in a, in a lot of ways in farm sim, it feels like livestock is almost like end game. Like that's, they, they build it up. Like you get enough money to get some livestock and it's like, okay, good job. You did livestock, you made it. And that's the end of farming sim. Like that's the end of your, there's with mods, there's ways to extend that. Um, the way in base game is, I feel it just feels like you, you get there, you manage to feed them once and it's like, all right, you're done. And there's gotta be more to it. Uh, that's all. All right. Now we're gonna get into the controversy. I just see the next two. Better AI. And everybody, everybody and their grandma talks about better AI and farm sim, guys. There's so many comments. So many comments about better AI um, and working better. Now, you can't talk better AI. And coming from the PC world, horseplay is kind of the go-to for better AI. Would I like to see something similar brought for all platforms base game? Yeah, of course, right? And it doesn't even have to be as complex as course play. Course play is a very complex, a complex uh, program that runs inside Farming Simulator. It doesn't have to be that. It could be just something as simple as the AI, like your workers being able to do a couple headlands around a field before going doing this, the standard harvest or standard planting um, uh, route, right? You'd be able to go around it and then go through the middle if they have to. That's all it would take for me. So better AI like our course play and similar. I'm basically considering these the same. There was a bunch of comments on both of these. I agree with you guys. AI is something, and that's funny because the AI was supposed to get better with time in Farm Sim 22. Now, the the problem with when they said that, like this was a this was a comment I remember before the launch of Farm Sim 22. This was back during one of the the preview live streams from Giants. They said that that might be a thing that we, they would try and do. The problem is that the AI was based like when we're talking like going from destination to destination or unloading from your silo to a sale point. It was all based on understanding the route that was in the map. So it's all about the actual map that you're playing on and how well the road system is mapped for the AI to be able to follow it. And when you're doing a lot of the mod maps, because once we're in three years, how many people are still playing the base maps? You never really know what you're going to get because it's up to the map maker to really nail down the roadway systems and test that stuff out, which I, I would say does not happen very often. So. There has to be some other system out there. Maybe auto drive would be a solution, right? So you can do it yourself. I, I don't know. I don't have I don't have the smoking gun on this one. Uh, just just what I think. I would love to see better better AI or a better way of getting AI to work. Um, I agree that's something. But like I said, the in field work, yeah, yeah, for sure. Get them to be able to do headlands first and then go through the middle. Uh, but so they don't get stuck would be able to recognize maybe there's another piece of equipment in the field with them so you could have a couple pieces of equipment working together in tandem yeah please that'd be great all right unexpected breakdowns this is an interesting idea too now once again i'm gonna leave it right in the middle for now i'm gonna i might move that still we gotta talk about this we're we're going from accessibility all the way over to simulation right and I feel like the unexpected breakdowns is something that pushes us more into the simulation side for sure. And I mean, yeah, there's a ton of cool ways we could have that. Uh, it would make it a really fun for me personally for storylines. Like I would, you could, you could just play and a storyline could, for a video could pop up in front of me that way, right? Instead of me having to come up with ideas on, well, how can I make this harvest interesting? This would help out immensely with that. Right, you could have to go get something. Oh, we have to go get a, a, a repair trailer. You know what? We need we need to grease stuff. I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. There's a bunch of different ways unexpected breakdowns could do this, but you also need that accessibility side where new players don't necessarily have to worry about this. Now, once again, I, we've talked about this. We're having unexpected breakdowns on a slider or on off, maybe. Or I, I like the, I like the slider idea. Like, how often do you want unexpected breakdowns to happen? Uh, once a year, one piece of equipment. Yeah, you, you know what? I want to have it every, like a real life. I want it every hour. I want something to break on me every time I touch it. Anyways, interesting idea. Uh, where do I want this? You know what? I think it's, I think it's in the right spot. It's more about, it's more than take it or leave it. I, I would like to see something like that happen. 
I don't think it'll be that difficult to implement in my head. I think that'd be kind of simple. Also, when we're talking unexpected breakdowns, when you say that, I'm expecting the unexpected breakdown to make it so it's like, yeah, that piece of equipment either doesn't work, right? Like it's, it's, it, you are stuck in a field, right? Like there's got to be that aspect of it as well. Sam. All right. Better financial menus. So for this one here, this is something I've talked about. I have complained about this on numerous occasions. Why do we only have five months so we can look back right now? Like, okay, precision farming, that's a whole other beast, right? It does give you, uh, the, I think you could go as long as you want. You just have to reset it for whatever your finance uh, screen is. But why does the base game menu only show five months? That makes no sense. Why five months? You can't look year over year. You can't look five. Like, I want to look five years. I want to look 10 years back. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Five months is such a weird time that they choose. Um, this is a must have. This has to be changed. The menu itself, the system itself, guys, is actually not terrible. I would like to see more detail. Like the precision farming one's a little bit better. I would love to see almost the precision farming being able to go field by field what I had to pay. But I want to be able to go, you know, year over year. What, what did I what did I spend last year on this field exactly? And then compare that what I'm doing this year and being able to see a specific breakdown of that. that that's what I want. This is a must have. Giants, we need to get on. You need to fix that. The, the menu system from financials, you got you got to fix it, please, please. Uh, let's see what we got here. Contracts by sell points instead of farms. Another interesting one I never thought about as well. So the description on this one, on this specific comment was, um, instead of having farmers, only farmers requesting contracts to go harvest a field, yada, yada, yada. It would be a co-op or similar it would be like, you know what, we need um, 50,000 bushels of wheat. This is the amount of money we're paying for it, go. So if you happen to have that in your, in your silo at your farm, guess what, you can provide that contract and you're good to go. That's an interesting idea, right? So you wouldn't necessarily always have to wait for the best time to sell. Right, you could you could actually get lucky, almost like great demand, like that's almost what it's like. It's almost like great demand, only it's by product instead, and you just happen to get lucky. And yeah, they they need to get these these contracts filled. You happen to have it. You don't have to wait. You can sell it off now, make some money, make more money than you would waiting. I think it's kind of an interesting idea. Um, it's not anything up at the top for me, and I I know there's a mod that kind of does this right now, to be honest with you, but would be nice or do I take it or leave it. I just didn't feel like this should take that long to implement a system like that. Let's be honest. I'm going to leave it. It would be nice. I'm going to leave it right in the middle here. Uh, it's it's borderline. Do I really care? I would probably use this when it was available. So there you go. All right. Enterable or usable buildings. Enterable usable buildings. I think if I remember correctly, this comment was more about the usable side of building. I'm not quite sure what you mean by usable. I love the idea of being able to get into buildings. It's funny. The more I think about this, though, like I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. I want to get into these buildings. I want to be able to walk inside of them. And then I look at it. I'm like, why? Why do I want into these buildings? I don't know. Um, there's not much to do in them. Unless someone can figure out something else to do once you get inside the buildings. Like, that's not the point of the game to me or the simulation getting inside buildings. Yeah, it's handy to get in there and, and look around, right? You go into your house to go sleep. That's pretty much it. I look at like the Elk Mountain, the Elk Mountain house we currently have for as a modern farm sim. Amazing detail, right? All these light switches work. Um, you can go upstairs, you can look, put yourself in the shower, the coffee machine can be turned on. Uh, I think there's a radio you can turn on in it, right? Like there's all these cool little details. And I walk around, I look at it all, and I'm like, oh, you look at it once, and it's like, okay, now what? Like, you spent no time in there really after that. So what's the point on spending all this time building this stuff if you just go in once and it's like, yeah, that was cool. I'm done now. I guess it, it's funny that the, that mentality. Um, I'm going to take it or leave it. It's not something I would love to see more of it. I really do because I, I do enjoy it, to be honest with you. But really, don't waste a bunch of time on something like that, please. That's... That seems like it's a t it could be a time sink that could be used elsewhere for me, at least. Leaderboards! This one kind of caught me off guard as well. Um, I've never heard anyone talk about leaderboards before in Farming Simulator. I don't exactly know how it would work. Because once again, you're going to have... Well, your base maps you might have leaderboards for, I guess. But what would the leaderboards track exactly? 
Um, I'm not sure. For me personally, and this, like I said, do farm sim how you guys want to do farm sim. That's the, the, the glory of farming simulator is you can play it the way you want to play it, right? Everyone has their own little way. I bet you no two players plays it exactly the same. So do however you want to do. But for me, it's not a it's really not about competing. Like really, really not about competing. It's about me just enjoying my farm and doing my own thing and trying to do better than I did before and trying to come up with new ideas on how I can be more efficient. Being a multiplayer side of things, it, it doesn't interest me. I don't care. I don't want it. I, I don't think they should waste any time on it. Because I think the thought process is you'd have to figure out exactly what your leaderboard is going to be and then figure out how you'd implement that and how you would set lock it down so you don't have to like follow a certain path. And no, I'm out. I don't want that at all. Not for me. Um, I don't think they should waste any time on it. Let's keep the the competitive side of it over in what is it? The bail stocking challenge and uh, the other game. I can't even remember what it's called anymore. I'll think of it in about 10 minutes. But anyways, let's go with that. Uh, let's move along. Better meters. Better meters. We talked a little bit about this the last video as well. I heard actually a few of you comment on this, more than a few of you, um, especially if we're going to go, if we're talking like VR support, better mirrors once again is a must. Um, so you got to think better mirrors is going to be above VR support for me because that's the rankings, right? Um, if I'm going to talk between, what is it, better mirrors, in-cab monitors, like in-cab monitors and mirrors are kind of the same for me. I think I rank better mirrors up here, to be honest with you. I think maybe I would use mirrors more, especially when you're trucking. Like I want the ATS mirrors so I could back equipment in properly, right? If you're moving equipment around, I want to be able to look at the mirrors. I don't want to have to necessarily spin all the way around behind me to look at stuff. Just use my mirrors like in real life. I'm going to put this up and really want. I think the mirrors could be made better very quickly, right? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just wishful thinking over here. Maybe. Uh, updates to Mod Hub was the next one. Now, because I'm pretty happy with the way Mod Hub works. I was looking, I'm trying to figure out ways to make Mod Hub better. I mean, no, we're not talking about mods, of course, here, right? The only thing I can personally think of that frustrates me is the website menu. When you try and search something up and trying to find it, you can type it exactly right. And the search bar just sucks. You miss it completely. However, in game, the Mod Hub search works fairly well, I thought. Um, I like the way, like looking at when you're buying stuff in the menu, you can look at like, um, not customizations, but combinations. And if, you, if, well, in base game equipment, at least for sure, they get like all the cool combinations or the right combinations of things that will go with that piece of equipment. I like how that all works. Um, you can look through like a sort by, by what, what you're trying to use or what, try, what type of um, equipment you're looking for, whether it be like harvesting equipment or grape equipment or, you know, tillage, whatever it might be, animal, whatever it might be. I like the way that all works. I, I don't know what updates to Mod Hub um, exactly we would be looking at here, guys. I'm a little on the, I'm a little lost on this one. Like I said, the only thing I can think of is the website could use a small little tweak. Um, but the rest of the, of it, I don't want them to waste any time on this. Like the mod hub is something is an afterthought for me when we're talking base game. I think we're at a spot right now where the mod hub works fairly well for the most part. Um, I think one of the things when we're talking, okay, actually, you know what? You know what? Wait, hang on. So I'm going to put it down here, take it or leave it. One of the things would be if you're the, 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 the bit of a lag portion. I think I heard someone talk about this actually in the comments where like you download a, a, several mods and it does tend to hang. Like it'll get to 50% and just stop for a while, it seems like. And you, you got to back out and go back in. Like there are some minor issues with that. Um, sometimes it seems like it just gets locked up almost. And sure, there can be an update there. I don't know what causes that, to be perfectly honest. Um, I find I just like exit out of the mod hub, come back into the mod hub and it fixed itself somehow. So, okay. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that that's what you're talking about. Sure, we could update that. Uh, modular grain bits. Okay, we're talking about mo more modular stuff, right? We talked about the modular, what was it? There was something modular we talked about. Pens? Yeah, modular pens or something like that, right? Why can't I find it now? There it is. Modular pastures. Modular grain bins. So, we I understand this. This comment. So, you can place down, you start your farm, you start with a small bin. And then your farm grows, you put down a second bin. 
okay, now you you want a you want a modular part. You want to put down a, a modular drop tray that you could attach to both of those bins, right? Like it'd be um, kind of like pumps and hoses, where you get like the line that says that this is attached to this. Uh, you want to add a dryer. Oh, guess what? You're doing corn. You want to add a dryer. You put a dryer down beside it, and you you say you attach it to those bins. It's kind of an interesting idea, to be honest with you. Like you could kind of grow your system as you grew your farm instead of having to, you know, buy one one bin, delete it, buy the next big one, delete it, you know, build build it that way. I like the modular size, style. I, that's a good idea. I'm going to leave it right in the would be nice. Um, this is not something I definitely need to have, but I like the idea behind being able to upgrade, right? That upgrade idea is a cool idea. Um, we talked about this in the live stream recently, pest and bugs. Pest and bugs. And then uh, they're corresponding, of course, sprayers. So think of this as, okay, we've got what we got, like the, all these extra features we've got in farm sim to do field work, right? We've got our field stones. Now we got to clean up. We've got a lime. We've got to fertilize. We have to do um, weeding. Yeah, we got to go after weeds, herbicide, right? Add in pest and bugs, control pesticiding potentially now as well. I, I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's it is a real part of farming, and like it, it'd almost be interesting if you could more define that based on where the map was located on how much of a pain this could possibly be. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Um, once again, this has to be something that that is like those other features I mentioned that you can turn or off or on. I might use it sometimes. I might not use it all the time. Kind of like stones right now, for example. I rarely use stones, but it's kind of cool it's there. So um, for this one, I'm going to put it down or take it or leave it. Yeah, it, it it's an interesting feature to have added in there. I believe in our poll, it was an 83% that said they would like to see pests and bugs, pesticides brought into Farming Simulator. That's actually pretty high. But I want it. I mean, you know what? I want to put it one higher. You know what? I, I kind of want the idea. I'm gonna go with. I'm going with consensus on this one. And you guys in the poll, you said you wanted it, so I'm gonna go one more higher. Okay, this was something that this comment right here, you guys. This is a great idea. Let's. Okay, I'm gonna let me let me break this down. Let me break this down for you guys. Realistic versus classic settings. Now, instead of having, instead of having our current starting game features, right? When you go into a game, you have um, new farmer, farm manager, start from scratch. Like that's it. Those are the three. Get rid of that. Let's turf, let's turf that. Giants, I know those are the way you've always done it. We need to change that up. That's not how the difficulty should work. The difficulty in farming simulator should start with classic, Maybe not even classic. You can stay with New Farmer even. And then maybe go to classic farm sim. Realistic or simulation farm sim. That doesn't make sense. Realistic farming simulator. Right? That's the difficulty. Like it's not the prices of crops and the prices of land that determine the difficulty of the playthrough necessarily. Right? Like maybe, okay, New Farmer. Yeah, you get a farm to start off with. The other ones you don't. You've got to you've got to start. You basically start with some money, and you got to figure the rest out. But or no money, even for that matter, right? You can even maybe you can even start off and say you can you get to choose on the money level you start with. But yeah, you start with the difficulty is on like how many. Well, for like all the different settings you might have, whether it be weather settings, whether it be like the damage, unexpected breakdowns, pest and bugs. Um, I'm trying to think the tires. Right, like all those, uh, those would be the the difficulty options. And the more you went up, the harder those settings got turned on essentially and made it till you get to the end where everything is ramped right on. Prices don't necessarily matter. Like the prices are always the same in that sense. Would that be, I don't know. I think that would be a cool way of doing it personally rather than the way we're doing it right now. Uh, we talked about leasing vehicles. Oh, hang on a sec. I didn't rank that, did I? I put that, I, I really want this. I don't think Giants would change it for me. I don't think that's the thing they're going to do. Like I said, they're going to have to change if they go with this this setting here, uh, like realistic settings. There's a lot more things that would have to happen for realism to the settings to happen. Manual attach, right? Stuff like that. Just saying, that would be pretty cool. Um, where was I? Where was I? Where, where I, I dropped one. Oh, it's gone. Did it disappear? I don't see it. Uh, crapple, I lost it. 
uh, what was it? We'll have to, if I if I see it, I'll I'll talk about it some more. Um, realistic versus classic setting. We'll go to campaign mode as well. So campaign mode. Uh, we, a lot of people talked about a campaign mode of sorts. You could do your talking or starting from scratch farms, right? Like you see most lucky YouTubers too, for instance. Um, once again, not something I see happening. I don't see this. I kind of think it'd be neat to have happen, like to be able to do that, to just have it set up. But I mean, if we're talking realistic versus classic settings, like I discussed, campaign mode is below that in my mind. I'd rather see that this these settings versus that. So I'm going to drop this down just for now. I'm almost tempted to put it down, take it or leave it, to be honest with you. It's on the cusp. Uh, leasing land. Here is the one. I, this is actually the one I dropped here that I wanted to talk about. Leasing land. We talked about leasing vehicles. Leasing land 100% should be a thing. Like in real life farming, you lease land, you, right? You, we can't do that right now. Why can't we lease land? You buy it, you, right now you harvest, you buy it, you harvest, you sell it back for the same price. Um, leasing land, I really want to see. Once again, this is something that shouldn't be very expensive or really difficult to, to accomplish, right? Like farmers, this is, this is fairly menu driven, simple stuff. So please, giants, leasing land, let's put it in. Uh, more depth to fertilizing. More depth of fertilizing. Now, the this comment was was more in basically in line with more precision farming, right? So you have different types of fertilizers, like so different brands even that would work better on different crops, and also think of different soil types, different moisture contents, that kind of stuff. So really starting to go down the old rabbit hole on um, analyzing your crops and your your moistures and your soil types and all that stuff looking over here at classic versus realistic farms guys depth to fertilizing um i don't my personal opinion once again if you if you want to do this micromanagement stuff yeah this is an interesting idea we need to get to here first i'm going to put this down take it or leave it i still think this this realistic versus classic setting style or togg toggleable options need to be there before we get crazy into this um, like we talked precision farming, I would love to see all that stuff be more of a base game feature. Depth of fertilizing brought into it as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, a couple of couple comments on this hunting and fishing. Once again, I'm gonna I'm gonna go right here with this. Uh fishing probably could be okay, but hunting you're not gonna see. You're just not gonna see it in farming simulator, guys. Uh that could I think it would guarantee they would lose their E for everyone rating. So um, I think we can quit even commenting on on seeing hunting in game. It's just not something that they can do. Uh, fishing, I don't quite get the the alert. Like I 100% get fishing. Don't get me wrong. I understand fishing. Like I'll, I don't know of any farmers that don't fish. To be honest with you, <laughs> it seems like everybody be farmer I've ever met is somewhat passionate about fishing. So I understand that. But what would be the point in farming simulator of fishing other than like, I know we could do fish crops potentially. I, I mean, that's that's a thing kind of uh, to some degree, but really fishing. Sorry, guys. Forget about it. Don't don't waste time thinking about it. It's I don't think it's the thing we should worry about. Right. We got too many other. We have too many other fish to fry um, old brands. Old brands. This is once again something that a lot of comments want to see old old iron brought into the game. And part of me wants to see more of this, especially I know console players um, for sure want to see more old brands because it seems like they get left out a little bit on this. So I, I have to agree to some degree that we need to get old brands. But at the same token, I understand when Giants is putting equipment into the game for their base equipment. They're looking at that and be like, okay, yeah, we're going to stick a few older, smaller, cheaper pieces of equipment in so people have some options when they're the lower tiers. But by the time they get through, you know, the first couple of years of any game, they're going to take these lower end pieces of equipment, want to get rid of them and upgrade to something that's new. And we want all the newest, the latest and greatest equipment in that's out there in, far, in the farming world in game. Because let's be honest, on the Twitterverse, on anything that's going on in social media, especially like when you're talking about farming or whatever, what gets the clicks right now? It's like whatever's new, right? Like everyone talks about what's new. Yeah, there's still there's communities out there that talk the old stuff. But really, like the big stuff is always what's new. And you want to be part of that, of course. So Giants is definitely going to want to be part of that. Um, well, and and I know like I, I said I would not talk about mods. But when it comes to old brands, 
I, I do expect the modding community to be the ones that really focus on this because there's just so many old pieces of equipment out there. I'm gonna put this down and take it or leave it with the caveat that the modding community stays the same as it has been where they people are still pushing out the old the equipment that they they've always used and loved um i know i wasn't going to talk about that but here we are so i'm going with that severe weather oh man severe weather you guys this is 100 up here must have um i want to see better weather period say it with me better weather period in farming simulator weather has an effect on what you're doing in farming simulator right it's not just tractor driver simulator i want farming simulator where weather does have an effect on your crops it does have an effect when you can get into your fields it does have an effect on everything you do you have to plan out your days based on the weather you're given please please i don't even need tornadoes i don't need disasters i'm just saying i want weather to play an effect on what we're doing that's all that's all um like that goes right into like re more realistic snow and this one's a little bit more this one's more contentious for me i don't care too much about the snow you guys snow is it's cool that we have snow i plow it every once in a while but generally speaking it's like i just want to I, I get in i feed my cows i do whatever my livestock need because i'm not doing any farming uh, i might make a, a path so i can get to my pasture and maybe empty my grain out of my bin and then that's it um sure take it or leave it don't waste too much time on better snow though please all right precision farming upgrades we talked a little bit about this with our where was it the, the da, 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 fertilizing so precision farming upgrades more depth of fertilizing kind of the same thing um i want to see precision farming definitely increase though like depth of fertilizing is if i'm including that in the precision farming as a whole i think precision farming as a whole i want a base game of course i would love to see the features that are brought into precision farming brought forward and just expanded for sure like 100 like i said same when we we're talking better financial menus yeah let's see I, I i feel like this is going to be a norm going forward now but just bring it base game that's that's the big thing we'll leave it there we'll leave it right there uh grazing this was actually this is funny so i'm talking we talk animals and grazing was a feature of seasons in farm sim 19 and it's not something was ever brought forward in farm sim 22 i mean mods do have this of course why can't we have this in base game yeah grazing i really want this this is almost a must have to be perfectly honest grazing animals i'm so tempted to push this up here you know what i am i'm putting it up there giants grazing they have to be able to graze come on we got to be able to animals graze in real life make them graze in game it, it was done in 19 seasonal cycles should be able to do it in 22 i expect them to be able to do it in 25 okay must haves all right row crops was a, a bunch of comments you know row crops are pretty popular right now of course there is a, a row crop mod out for pc uh so this has been talked about a lot i am a little on the fence on this like I love the idea. Like I love being able to see when you plant your corn, you plant your your sunflowers, they actually like follow along. And that's what I mean when we're talking row crop, proper spacing. Um, the rows of your row crops, like you have you have to almost harvest correctly, right? Like once again, this guys, we got to talk about a realistic versus classic settings. If you're gonna have this, this is like a, a realistic setting almost where, yeah, you've got to drive the combine, so you're actually down the rows, right? That makes more sense you're not double planting either so when you're planting the rows are going correctly like around corners uh you can't just kind of plant willy-nilly wherever you want you actually have to make sure it's planted correctly and you're using the correct space to to plant your crops and then harvesting the same way right you got to get the header so it's going between the rows correctly that like that brings up a whole other setting in here this um as far as realism goes i know in the current status of the mod it does take up a lot of resources it causes a lot of problems trying to get it to run smoothly but it is, does look amazing when it's done uh, i'm gonna put this down in in would be nice this is a would be nice for me i not not really want it but it's definitely above take it or leave it like i said this is in that realistic classic setting mode for me at least all right Terra farming, guys. I'm a big fan of terra farming. If you watch, I've got some videos on this. And this is for those that are not aware. Terra farming, um, it does allow you to take your 
front loader, any tractor with like a bucket or anything like that. And you can physically dig into the ground and change the ground with equipment instead of going into the menu and terraforming. So it's been terraforming, makes sense, right? So you can just go around and start digging into things and changing your terrain. Yeah, you want to, you know, you got a bump in the middle of your field you want to fix up. Oh, you can go dig up some soil over on that side and drag it over there, dump it into the hole. And guess what? Your field's kind of flat now. And you don't have to go into a menu to do it. It's all in game. Really cool mod that's for PC. I'd love to see this for all platforms. Do I think we'll see this chat? I, I, I really don't. Um, this is going to be a would be nice for me for all. Uh, uh, you know, the more like I, I, I thought it was really great. When this first came out, I was all over this. I've used it a few times, but it's not something I default to by any means. Um, but I do really like the idea behind it. I can understand some of the problems potentially going forward without why I wouldn't have it for, for console and like just a base game feature, essentially. Um, but that being said, I would still kind of like to see it in game as an option. Yeah, um, I don't think it needs to be an option. Like it could just be something that would be in game. Like you don't need to be turn it on or turn it off, right? Like it's just something that's there. When you want to dig in the ground, you hit a button and now it allows you to dig. I think that's kind of neat. Um, I'm putting it would be nice. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Towing is base game. This is, uh, this one here I know is not extremely popular. I don't think in the grand scheme of things, but I mean, if we're going to start talking about weather effects, getting equipment stuck realistic versus classic settings, towing can kind of be in that discussion as well. I mean, we do have mods out that allow us to connect equipment, right? That's something that you can kind of tow, but at the same token, do I really care? Like I do it once or twice here and there just for fun. Does it need to have it? Yeah, whatever. Take it or leave it. I don't think that's difficult to implement. Like, I, I don't think. Once again, you throw a tow bar, a chain is a piece of equipment in your miscellaneous selection. And guess what? You're pretty much done, right? Um, they could work on a better way of connecting everything together. That's the only thing that needs to be fixed with like the mod the way it is right now. So take the mod, basically slap it in there, but get it so it connects a bit better. That'd be the only thing. Adjustable equipment specs. This was, there was some details on this comment, you guys. So, um, oh boy, if I can remember this specifically. Now we're, we're talking realism versus classic settings here for sure. We're going to go right into realism for sure because we're talking about, uh, oh man, let me think how it was here. Because we do have like, right now when you look at the settings for um, your combines, for instance, the only thing you really get typically is like the bins, the size of your of your hopper tank and maybe the horsepower but like this was going down a rabbit hole on on changing all sorts of features that i don't understand when it comes to a lot of farming equipment right like we're, we're talking about shivs and blades and who knows what else um adjusting that depending on what you're harvesting like you could go down a rabbit hole with the adjustable specs of course in farm sim or not in farms, I mean in farming in real life, of course. Um, and same with like your tractors, right? Like we've talked a little bit about tires, but then we're talking about, okay, we've got different horsepower, but are we talking about going, updating turbos? Or are we updating, changing exhaust systems? Like it's not, let's not get too crazy, I don't think. Sure, would it be cool if you could do all this? But yeah, of course, but that's the amount of time that it would take to, to really like, to go down that rabbit hole to make everything so it's fully crazy adjustable like that i don't think we're there yet and the realistic versus classic setting side the realism would be like way off the charts all of a sudden and i think a lot of people might get turned off when we're, we're talking about how much how many adjustable specs we're talking about i don't want to see too many crazy specs guys i'm happy i'm happy with the fairly straightforward okay horsepower size uh like the engine itself Tires, adjusting tires, adjusting hopper sizes, that kind of stuff. I'm pretty happy with that stuff. I don't think we need to go too, too crazy quite yet on the simulation side of of really going down and changing that. The, the, the depth that was mentioned was a little bit too much for me. Uh, I'm going to say forget about this one. This is one of the ones. Let's, let's relax a little bit. Let's take a step back and just keep it. A little bit simpler, I think, for me. Let me know, guys. What what do you guys want to see? Like crazy adjustable specs? Is that too much for you? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Uh, more uses for horses. Yeah, horses seem like such an afterthought in, in my mind. Uh, Farms from 19, they were introduced, of course. 
they were kind of fun to use once and then you're like oh man i don't want to ride my five my horse five minutes every day just to make sure it's it keeps its value up and now i never use horses ever <laughs> i don't know what would be a good use for horses as far as a crop or as far as um a product goes right like it's not I, I the way that it's used right now just seems kind of weird to me um i do like the idea of using horses better for like moving moving livestock right using your horses using your dog for moving livestock i'm gonna put this in really want i want to find more reasons to have horses give me more reasons and i I'm, i don't even want to have it so like i said we use them for making a profit but make it so that there's a use for them. For instance, like I said, the best one I can think of is moving livestock around. Um, you get on your horse and you actually, you're hurting your livestock and your dogs that are beside you helping you out. Like that'd be perfect for me. All right, last of all, the very last, last one, mud. And everybody, everybody and their grandma. Everybody and their grandma wants mud. Giants. This has got to be there. Please make sure there's mud. There's mud, make terrain to deformation when we're driving over things. Um, that's the big one for sure. That's a big one for me for sure. With weather, mud, weather, mud. Those two. I'm gonna stick these two over on the on the end here because those two are like together. You know what? These all these are the top list. They're all for me. So that's that was from your list, guys. That was the comments from what you guys had on the previous video. I think we've gone through enough of them. That's two videos, two weekends. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Like I said, put in the comment below if you guys like this like tier list. Uh, also drop a comment on what you guys want to see. If, if I got anything wrong on things you want to see higher up or lower down you don't care about, drop it down below. If I'm out to lunch, hey, give me a shot. I'm okay with that. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Drop a like on the end of the video here. And uh, if you didn't see the last, the first one, it's very similar to this. I think there's some other stuff in here that uh, was my on my list personally, but go check that one out. I'll, I'll leave it at the end here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, also leave, you know what? DJ and I did the, the tier rankings for Farm Sim 22 DLC, and we had a discussion about that. And I think that video got missed by a lot of people, so click that one as well. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.